Welcome back to Kushka Garage, everyone. Let me ask you a question. Do you know when you're supposed to change your air filter? Are there things you can do in between air filter intervals to maintain your air filter? What are the signs that your old air, air filter needs to be changed? These are all things we're going to cover in today's episode of Kushka Garage. First, a little word from our sponsors, me. So I got some merchandise right below this video you can check out. Got the LB7 Duramax hats, a couple other ones too. For those of you who know, you know what these numbers mean. This is the cylinder order for Duramax. Nice Kushtka garage merchandise, all very well fitted for our Husky guys. And if you got a big noggin like I do, these hats are freaking amazing. Got a variety of coffee mugs, t-shirts, jackets, all kinds of stuff for you. Go check that out. All right get into today's episode all right let's talk about filter maintenance guys so I'm rocking the LB7 Duramax but this filter change stuff is going to be uh, relevant to uh, pretty much everyone so I got this old filter here one two years old and uh, actually looking at it actually doesn't look too bad I can probably just maintain this and toss it back on but I'm going on a big road trip, so I'm gonna put on a new air filter and I'll probably just clean this one out and shelve it and uh, maybe use it on something else, I don't know. One thing that helps you maintain this air filter and keep it looking in a relatively, relatively new condition, new one, old one, is I use these filter socks. These filter socks are nice. They're water resistant. They keep a lot of the debris out of there. You can see this one's kind of covered in dirt. I need to wash this one before I put it on my new filter. It's going to keep out the bugs. It's going to keep out all the twigs and all the big debris that you usually see uh, all shoved in the uh, corrugation here. So this is one thing you can do to maintain your air filter. Another thing you can do in between intervals is... Use the old air compressor. And blow this thing out. All right, now it looks practically brand new. Actually, can't really tell the difference too much. This one's a little dirtier, but that's about it. All right. So, what are the intervals that you should change your air filter? That is going to be if you're not changing it every year which you certainly can. Uh, you can change about every 15 to 20,000 miles or you know, just keep an eye on your filter. This is a dry filter, so you can maintain these uh, fairly well. They're great for dusty environments like I live in. I live in Alaska in the summertime when I'm on the logging roads, it's just a big dust cloud. That's why I prefer them over the oiled versions of these. So the oiled versions, they have a lower micron rating but the oil catches all that dirt. And if you're just driving through dust clouds, then it's just caking up these uh, filters. If it's the oil version, that's why I go for the dry version. It has a smaller micron uh, rating, so it keeps that dust out of there. It doesn't get clogged up because it doesn't have oil. And then as you've seen, you can just hit it with an air compressor, blow all the crap out of there, and then Bob's your uncle, toss it back on your truck, and you're good for another few thousand miles. But otherwise, you want to change your filter every 15 to 20,000 miles. Signs that you need a new air filter. So one big sign is that uh, you had a little bit more of a rough idle, a rough start. You have poor acceleration. Uh, you have some misfires, especially if you have a gasser. And uh, a big one for the diesel guys is you're gonna be blowing black smoke out of nowhere. So if your truck's normally running clean and all of a sudden you get a little sluggish on the acceleration, you're blowing black smoke, check your air filter out, see if it's uh, clogged up on you. Of course, we know there's a variety of other reasons why our diesel trucks could blow black smoke. Uh, your tune could be turned up a little too high. You might have some big old injectors, oversized turbo. Um, it all surmounts to you're not getting enough air on the intake side to fully combust that fuel. And so you're just dumping it out your tailpipe, which is very inefficient. Um, so check your air filter first. These are pretty cheap. I think I picked this one up on Amazon for like 15, 20 bucks. And uh, it sounds really nice for you LB7 guys. It actually really brings out that turbo whistle. So maybe we'll do, it looks like it's gonna rain, but maybe we'll do a little sound clip here on the road. But that is gonna be it. All right, last thing, 
before you put your sock back on go ahead and wash it with just some soap and water I just washed it in the, uh, the sink there and uh, we're gonna let that dry before putting it back on and that's all you really got to do make sure to wash your sock boys all right that's it guys so there really isn't too much to your air filters here we'll recap so you want to change these every 15 to 20,000 miles uh, you can in the meantime you know every few months or whenever you think about it you can just take these off it's just one band clamp hit it with an air compressor blow all the dirt and shit out of there and then wash your sock dry it and then put it all back on and you're good until your 10 15 or your 15 20 000 mile mark and then you know just keep an eye on it in the meantime i prefer the dry filters over the oil filters uh, because they trap that dust a little better without really clogging up your uh, your filter and they uh they still last quite a quite a while this one actually looks pretty good and it's over a year old at this point so i am actually probably going to use it on another truck because that other truck the air filter hasn't been changed in close to 10 years i'm guessing and it looks like crap so this one's in way better shape especially after a little dusting we just did so that one's still okay so the signs that you need to change your filter are let's go over it again you have a uh, hard acceleration so when you hit that skinny pedal you just don't really go anywhere your engine bogs down uh, you'll have crappy fuel mileage you'll have some stuttering uh, in your engine when you hit the acceleration maybe some misfires and then for the diesel guys you'll have some black smoke probably with the gas too you'll probably have some black smoke because that's just unspent fuel so all of those signs are uh, signs that you need to change a new air filter and uh, that's it guys so hope this helped you out in some way and I uh, hope you have a good day I'll see you in the next one